I'm Mo Hamilton of SNYNets.com. Joining me in studio today, Mr. Tim Bonkemps, beat writer for the Brooklyn Nets for the New York Post. Tim, how you doing today? Doing good, Mo. How you doing, man? Good, good, good. A little rain, but uh, I wish we had a little more sunshine little, today. Little but rain. yeah, but unfortunately, speaking of sunshine, um, you know the, the NBA season is upon us. Obviously, it's been a very long off season. Uh, in your estimation. Could you rate the Brooklyn Nets offseason? Could you tell me what move you like best that the team made? I think you got to say the move, the offseason as a whole is probably an A. Um, it would have been an A-plus if you got Dwight. You know, obviously that would have been the big move that would have put them maybe into title contention as opposed to being top of the East contention. But, um, I mean, obviously the trade for Joe Johnson was huge. Trade for a guy that's a six-time All-Star and he basically gave up, you know, a bunch of bench guys and, and a roster filler. Um, you know, it's just a, a huge upgrade from where they were before. You know, they retained Gerald Wallace, they re-signed Lopez, they obviously keep Darren Williams, which is the key to everything. And now they go into Brooklyn with, you know, a deep roster. They go 10, 11 deep at least on the bench. And, uh, you know, they got a chance to be a, a top four team in the East. Now, that, that's very interesting because one of the things, my thing about the Nets is I think, you kind of hit it on the head, is that they're a very deep team. You know, they'll be able to go 10-11 deep. Right. Now, when you look at the bench, obviously they have C.J. Watson, who I think is a very underrated signing yeah. this offseason. Marshawn Brooks, Mirza Teletovic, Reggie Evans. In your estimation, who do you think is going to be uh, the most productive bench player? Who's the most important bench player for them this season? Um, it's hard to say is the most important. Um, it might be the might be the big guys. Um, with Brooke, obviously Brooke Lopez last year missed most of the season. So, you know, if he has any more issues with his foot, they're going to need, you know, especially Andre Blotch and Evans and uh, Teletovich to pick it up in the paint um, if he goes out. Um, I, I agree with you on C.J. Watson. I think that was a huge signing. Um, very, very good backup point guard, one of the best in the league. They got him for the veteran minimum, which is a steal. You know, they're, when they were talking about signing Jason Kidd for three years and $10 million, you know, you sign C.J. Watson, who I think at this point is a better player for half the money. You know, it's a huge signing. And, I'm, you know, having a backcourt of him and Marshawn behind Joe and Darren, and it gives him a huge advantage. Joe, jo jo or, uh, Josh Childers could be a good signing and a backup small forward, too. So, you know, they legitimately go 10 deep. You know, I've compared them to the Pacers last year. You know, they go, they kind of can go in two waves, except they have two better players, I think, than anybody on the Pacers. So that's a, you know, obviously they're in pretty good shape. You know, I, I absolutely agree. And as far as the backcourt is concerned, you know, they have Keith Bogans and Jerry Stackhouse there as well. And I mean, you look at it and you look at those six guys in the backcourt, they have a very, very deep backcourt. Now, that being said, in terms of the backcourt, where do you think Joe Johnson and Darren Williams as a tandem stack up? with the other backcourts, or maybe we should even say the other tandems in the league. How good of a I mean, one-two punch back is that? Court, backcourts, I think they're the best in the league. Um, you know, obviously the Lakers have Nash and Kobe, which is right there, but those guys are also much closer to the end of their careers. You know, Darren's in his prime. Uh, Joe has been maybe miscast as the leading guy in Atlanta, but coming here, he can get facilitated to by a great point guard. I mean, people forget he played with Steve Nash in Phoenix and was pretty darn good. And, um, you know, having, having a guy like that, have a point guard like Darren Williams to get him the ball, and have a guy like Brooke Lopez in the paint, you know, I think he's going to have a big year. So I think they're the best backcourt in the league, and they're one of the better tandems in the league. I mean, you know, they're two top 25 players in the league. So, you know, that's not a bad place to start off. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, you know, I think that each of them are very adept at creating their own shot off the dribble. Right. But I think either one of them can also play without the ball. Yeah, they'll let, it'll let Darren go off the ball too, which helps. They like to run some sets with him coming off screens and getting some shots because he could score too. So that'll right. be good. Now, now if, you ask some, if you ask different people in the press, the question is, well, how good are the Nets going to be? Some people have them maybe around 40 wins, and some people have them maybe closer to 50, challenging for the Atlantic. What do you think is their uh, projection for this season? I think they're a lot closer to 50. Um, I think they could win the Atlantic. I think they're going to be somewhere between 2 and 5 in the, uh, in the East, um, probably maybe even 2 to 4. And they could be as high as second. Some people are surprised by that. But like I said, you know, the Pacers were on pace to win 50 last year with a similar team without the same star level talent. So if they could stay healthy, particularly if Brooks stays healthy in the post, um, I, have, I definitely think they could win, you know, anywhere from high 40s to low 50s and maybe win the Atlantic and, you know, really make a run, make things interesting. Tim, thank you very much. No problem, man. Be sure to check Tim out on Twitter. You can follow him at Tim Bontemps. 
And for all of your Nets needs, check out SNYNets.com.